Hello everyone. <clears throat> um today is Thursday, July 14th, 2022 at 6:46 a.m. in the morning. So I tried to get a picture of it, but my phone wouldn't let me. But they have this green dot here. <clears throat> and I heard that <clears throat> if you are on, if you um in a dark room, in a hotel room or a motel room, and they have a um a green dot. I heard that um that means that um oh wait never mind that's different. I'm sorry, never mind that. Um, well, I've had been in hotel rooms where they had like a, um, <clears throat> a green, a green dot higher up. I didn't, I didn't realize that they had, the, that's the, um, that's, well, that's the, um, let's see, this one, that's the, the fake time on a microwave because that's not what time it really is. And um, this other green dot, <clears throat> it looks like it's near the TV or something. But I heard that if you if it's like higher up in the air or something, or in hiding in a wall, and you see a green dot, I heard that that means you know you're being like secretly filmed or recorded or something. I don't know about that, but um, <clears throat> I've heard horror stories about people being secretly recorded in a hotel and motel rooms and stuff. You know, but anyway, so my mistake with that, all I saw was with a green dot, and I didn't realize that was the um the the time on there, and then the other one, I'm not sure what that is, but my sleep was I guess spotty last night, and I think I went to bed extremely early, like eight thirty or nine o'clock or something after dinner and so um <clears throat> it's actually 6 48 a.m in the morning it's not 7 56 like the um the microwave time is saying <clears throat> but when i was in the previous hotel room um when i was in the previous room the Mo I mean the um the microwave was the exact it was the exact same time as my phone. It was the right time. So um I didn't even need to look at the my phone for the time that much. So y'all know why I'm recording in the dark. I'm recording in the dark <clears throat> because of, um I'm recording in the dark to save um, storage space on my phone and plus the video can upload faster. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to not talk for a whole hour. But um, <clears throat> I'm still sleepy and tired anyway. Like I got a lot of hours of sleep but I, my sleep was spotty last night and, and for a nice while throughout the middle of the night my hips were hurting. So I was able to get a shower and a, I tried to get in a, a cheap, affordable dinner last night. Yesterday evening, I got a cheap, affordable dinner and I had a shower and washed my hair. I didn't get to wash my clothes. Um, so I heard there's supposed to be severe weather severe weather, you know, and it's now before seven o'clock in the morning and it's central time right now, central standard time or whatever. And so, you know, I'm wishing I could have help with anybody could donate me 50 more dollars so I can have another night in this hotel. And I heard that, um, they got severe weather coming on severe weather or something. But then I will have to go back out on the streets 
and check out at 11 o'clock Central Time, you know, this morning. I would have to check out at 11. And, um, so, I would have to check out at 11 o'clock and, um, be back on the streets in bad weather. But then again, um, like overnight, I'm not going to be able to have any that much protection if the weather is bad enough. You know, I showed y'all the video yesterday. I was doing a regular video and it seemed like there was even t time when lightning had got on my phone or like it flashed on my phone and on my face and stuff, you know. So even I, I mean, sometimes you don't get protection enough. You know, so, um, there are a lot of people who, who believe that no one should be homeless and that everyone deserves a home, you know, but for a homeless person that asks for help with a hotel room, you call it spoiled or entitled, or they make it like as if homeless people deserve less and that they're not even human. But I mean... How can you call me entitled with your um, 2023 um, brand new Volvo vehicle or your brand new BMW Porsche um, or whatever, you know, or your brand new Jaguar SUV or whatever, and, and you can live off of, um, you know... <clears throat> lobster and the best cut the best cut of steak and lobster but for me to have mashed potatoes and chicken wings and peas you call that entitled you know so I mean yesterday I told a positive or a good story or whatever and I got like somewhat a lot of views, but I'm surprised I only got two thumbs up. I don't know if a lot of perps, if the, a lot of the online perps were mad. That if they were mad that two people voluntarily offered to help me, <clears throat> you know. So, um, it seems like the online perps whom I have them blocked and they still can dictate or control my channel by trying to, um, it's like if I talk about, if I name names and talk about abusive people and point out their names of who, who did me dirty or treated me mean or whatever, or were abusive to me, they make sure I get no thumbs up on that and that's off limits. Or if I talk about anything quote unquote negative. But then again, if I talk about th my favorite things that make me happy, they also some kind of way block me from getting any thumbs up. If people want to talk about me being full of drama and negativity, but I try to talk about happy things and y'all try to prevent that. And so, um... So, if I talk about somebody doing a good deed for me, oh, I, back then they used to give me thumbs up or whatever, but now I get massive thumbs up, thumbs down, and I'm not allowed to talk about that either. Now, I, I feel like people who, I, I told YouTube, the YouTube thing on Twitter, the YouTube account on Twitter, they never responded back, but I told them that um you know they should make it to where if you have someone's account blocked then they should not be able to rate you a thumbs up or a thumbs down if, if you have their accounts blocked or if they don't have an account at all so i mean even good stuff or positive things I try to talk about, y'all still thumb it down because 
you you think it's super important to hate Candy Grand Prix so much. You think that's the most important thing in the world to hate me, you know. <clears throat> so um, if I heard, I saw an I didn't look at the article, but I saw a reading suggestion for a, a news article online that said that Escambia County is readying people for um sandbags you, you know if, if people can pick up sandbags to, for protection against bad severe weather and hurricanes or whatever so <clears throat> um it's like people don't really care they really don't care about um what you gotta go through and it seemed like even it, I think it was messed up that they try to raise the for Hurricane Ida. Um, and I think Hurricane Sally too. They try to raise the doggone prices of, of during a disaster. That's what these hotels do: raise the doggone prices, or double the price, or even triple the prices, and make them almost affordable at these hotels. And then the hotels are still sold out. And um. They still would end up being sold out. And um, they raised the doggone prices for the hotels during hurricanes. That's so messed up. And then people still wouldn't even help me during hurricanes. But then, just like regular shelters, even hurricane shelters, if they have any, you, you got to put up with, deal with a whole bunch of abuse from people, abuse and bullying from people and stuff like that. And even during Hurricane Katrina at the Astrodome, I had to deal with abuse and bullying and people wanting to fight me and stuff. <coughs> so, um, <coughs> but I don't know, I heard they had Hurricane Darby floating in the air, but um, the previous one, I think, was it Hurricane Bonnie or something? They, she was around for a whole week or so. But, um, I don't know. But I wish I had people to help me with permanent, permanent housing. And, you know, I've been on that housing list for over three years. And I also have the, the Go Get Funding fundraiser. That's like a GoFundMe alternative since the online perps lied on me and falsely accused me of scam and fraud and then I can't even get a note another GoFundMe and and um and I put the description in in the um I put the link in the description box in just about every post and plus I put it in the um other box too. I mean the uh community tab. <sighs> So, um, you know, I also, I'm an author, so I also put up my Kofi and I mean, I have self-published ebooks, you know, on Amazon and the, the online perp star bricker, you know, she got successfully got two of three of two, three of them blocked, but two of them I was able to reverse and then third one is still blocked, but Hey, I have it on my blog. So, um, and putting false bad reviews on all my ebooks and stuff when all she been was like a freaking, um, working at retail, working at a grocery store for over 20 years. So what you know about writing? And then she tried to think, yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'm a better writer than Candy because I can successfully turn people away. My, my writing from my review, my bad reviews is, is good enough that is turning people away from reading Candy's books. But why you why you you call me entitled for trying to fight to, to live and survive, but you brag about your house and two cars and your husband and two kids and and, and you you have a dog and stuff like that that you worship. And you're part of that fake Mormon cult. So um you know, I don't, I know it's, it might be still kind of soon, but 
I don't know if I should do my own follow up for the job and ask, you know, if if I should do my own follow up for the job and ask, you know, if I'm hired or, or if I should just continue to wait. And it seems like that telephone scatologia perp has been getting more success at accessing me because he called from random different numbers and I'm sitting here thinking it's the job. Or thinking that it might have been from another job that I applied for. Or a few other jobs that I applied for. <clears throat> you know, I keep on thinking. And he'll sometimes call from an 850 or 504 phone number. Or call from any random number. From whether it be like Richmond, California. Or um, Alexandria, Virginia. Chicago, Illinois. Um, Cincinnati, Ohio. Who... He calls from random different area codes and phone numbers. And it's the same guy. <clears throat> but he'll mainly call from 850 or, um, you, you know. And I don't want to hear that demonic shit on my phone. You know, he, he even had a, a number that was like 850666. And I forgot the last four digits. And then he'll call and, um. I think that guy's demon possessed, you know, and I'm like, what do you want with me to keep freaking harassing me like that for nothing? It's fucking annoying. <clears throat> he ought to go to jail or prison. I wish that they could find a way to um track him down or trace him um, for all his harassment, but the police, they don't do shit, and I, I'm not mentally ready for their psychological games and abuse like what they did to me the other day. And how, I, I don't even know if the police be secretly watching all my doggone videos. Because how did that man know to call me girl? And he emphasized girl. When, he, when uh, it was after I turned the camera off. And he's like, don't you go back there, girl. Don't you go back there. Don't you go back there, girl, girl, girl. He knew what he was doing. So um, I didn't like the way they talked to me. I don't care if that man was elderly. He looked like a weird freak anyway. And I, I didn't even get to get their names. You know. So, um, and I had the camera down the whole time. I mean, almost the whole time. And I didn't even realize. I guess I was so blinded by fear. That, um, <clears throat> fear that I was going to end up going to jail. Even though I did nothing. Because those girls lied on me and said I had a weapon. You know, but in the beginning of the video, y'all saw that they bully, harass, and threaten me. And cussed me out. and was very disrespectful. And they even called me girl. And everybody thinks it's just the right thing to do to disrespect and hate me. And abuse me, you know. <clears throat> so, um... Well, I don't even feel like going to the um front office to go get quote unquote breakfast, cause all they will have is like junk food breakfast snacks anyway. <clears throat> so um, it looks like I'm gonna have to check out this hotel room at um at eleven today, cause. Well, I, I, if I needed help, I mean, if I, I'm sorry, I do need help. I meant to say if I were to get the help with $50, you know, to stay another night. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I have, well, I ate dinner and I try to keep it at about $10. Well, it was a little bit over, almost $11. So now I have $60. Um, in cash, paper dollars, and I had $23 in, in the bank, so, um, you know, the price is still the same from yesterday, so, um, you know, I was trying to get help with $50, so that, um, 
and, and I have like an extra roll of quarters, but I wanted to try to use that for laundry. But if I have to check out at 11, it won't be no time for me to do laundry. But I need extra sleep, and I'm still tired. And um, ever since after I took my shower yesterday, the um, <clears throat> after I took my shower yesterday, the um, the floor is like super wet and sweaty for I don't know what reason. And I think I've dealt with that in certain other hotels and before too and you know i don't know why the floors are sweaty and i thought that if i woke up this morning i thought that the wet the wet stuff on the floor um because the floor was dry and normal yesterday but i couldn't afford to have the room to be too cold i walked in here and the room was freezing but it said 70 degrees so i turned it up six degrees more turned it up to 76 and I took a, a a hot shower, not too hot, but a hot shower. And um, you know, I took a hot shower. And um, so I I washed myself, took a hot shower, and um, you know, after I got out of the shower, you know, the whole entire hotel room was hot and steamy, and sweaty, but the fog off the mirrors disappeared but the floor is still just wet so um that's another that's one of the reasons why I, I don't want to walk around this hotel room too much you know <clears throat> excuse me so I need extra rest and I need to sleep a little longer I need extra rest and um I need extra rest and I need to sleep a little longer and um <clears throat> I wish I had I'm praying for help if anybody could come through with help with um uh, fifty dollars before ten thirty this morning. So uh let's see within two and a half hours wait no three and a half hours if anybody could come through and help me be before ten thirty, you know with fifty dollars if anybody could send me fifty dollars i'm petitioning and asking if anybody can send me please send me fifty dollars to help me stay in a room for another night so um if I can stay, have help to stay in the room for another night out of the bad weather and stuff like that. So, um, if not, then I'll have to be forced to be out in bad weather and stuff like that, you know. And I don't know how severe or how bad the weather is going to be. So, um. Well, I'm just so, my body feels weak and tired right now. <clears throat> and I was too tired to even go out and go get dinner to eat yesterday evening. And I was even too tired, too tired to get laundry done. You know, but I'm glad I at least got shower and a lot of hours of sleep. But I'm still feeling like I need more sleep. I guess my body trying to catch up from this lost sleep from the all the sleep deprivation and stuff you know so all my information ways you can help me is in the description box of um almost every video except the shorts sometimes the shorts video but like when i try to click on the description box of other people's shorts videos it seems like as if it won't let me so um or sometimes every once in a while YouTube will automatically put the description box copy and paste on its own you know so um I'm trying to get whatever help I could get so um you know just trying to stay out of bad weather I don't mean any harm or anything like that I'm just trying to stay out of bad weather and thanks in advance
thank you so much in advance for anyone who would have come through and helped.